you're not Kate. As Wills foam with rage, as Meg admit that she tried to kiss him behind Haz's back during a podcast. The Duke of Cambridge, Prince William, apparently snubbed the launch of Meghan Markle's long-awaited Spotify podcast. As William took to Twitter and Instagram simultaneously, and had paid a touching tribute to England midfielder Jill Scott on her career after she had announced the retirement from football at the age of 35. As the Duke of Cambridge, who is the president of FA, had tweeted, a pioneer of women's football and a great team player, at Jill Scott JS8, congratulations on a wonderful career. It has been a pleasure to get to know you. He further said, a tiny bit pleased, that there won't be any more slight tackles during a friendly kickabouts. W. Earlier, Jill Scott had tweeted, Right, we're not crying. I promise myself. I'm retiring from football and I'm leaving with a gold medal swinging from my neck. Prince William's social media posts came after Prince Harry's wife, Meghan Markle, had launched a podcast on Tuesday with the tennis megastar Serena Williams as the first guest. Prince William is reported to be holding a grudge against Meghan Markle after she had a heavy crush. The revelation is revealed by the royal expert Christopher Anderson in an interview with US Weekly. Anderson believes that Prince Harry's return to the fold would definitely benefit King Charles, given that like anyone who is out there doing their job, it is their best interest to get Harry back into the fold. On the other hand, it is rumored that Prince William is less than willing to see Prince Harry again inside of Buckingham Palace. I am not sure William is interested in that, and I think he has more of a grudge than Harry at this time. And again, things will get worse, as I think with time, we will see how they handle it. And not only that, but everything they are doing, every little gesture, is going to be dissected, and then adding to the pressure. I know that with William, they had made contact. But let's not forget that this is a pay their respects to their grandmother. As you know, they were very close to Elizabeth, and they admired her as much as anyone else for their grandmother. But she was also their queen. As before concluding, he had added, I just think that Harry and Meghan are still uncomfortable. And we saw that in a recent interview with Meghan. So it is going to take a lot, I think, for those of us to get things back on track. And as that is sad. Besides, Meghan Markle is currently facing major backlash amid a slew of allegations over her marriage to Prince Harry. As these thoughts about Meghan Markle have been shared by Princess Diana's personal employed photographer, John Swannell. As he first began his admission by telling the Daily Mail about Princess Diana's potential thoughts against his son's wife, and had also admitted she seemingly had an agenda when she came over. This comes shortly after the Duchess was accused of using Prince Harry for her own gain. Mr. Swannell also pointed towards Meghan Markle's b list status and had branded it as a real reason behind the marriage in the first place. As he had also went on to say, she was a little known actress and an opportunity came up and she took it, like anybody else would. But she is a very smart woman, that is for sure, as she is an operator. In other news, Prince Harry's memoir Spare will not be read by the most express.ca UK readers, a new poll has found. As the Duke of Sussex's publisher, Penguin Random House, had shared more details about the highly anticipated book last week, announcing that it would be released on January 10th, 2023. The details were shared with the launch of a new website on Thursday, October 27th. As the book is due, to explore Harry's time in the royal family, from his childhood and his mother's death to his decision to leave the firm two years ago. As the publisher had said, it was one of the most searing images of the 20th century, as the two young boys, two princes, walking behind their mother's coffin as the world watches in sorrow and horror. As Diana, Princess of Wales, was laid to rest, Millions have wondered what the princes must be thinking and feeling, and how their lives would play out from that point on. As for Harry, this is his story at last, with its raw, unflinching honesty. Spare is a landmark publication full of insight 
revelation, self-examination, and the hard-won wisdom about the external power of love over grief. And in the poll that ran from midday on Friday, October 27th, to 7.30am on Tuesday, November 1st, Express.co.uk had asked their readers, Will you read Prince Harry's book? In total, 24,164 votes were cast, with the overwhelming majority, 93%, 22,553 people answering no against reading Harry's book, whereas 5%, 1,287 people said yes, they would read his memoir, and a further 1%, 324 people said that they did not know. As one reader, username Hopeful56, had said, No, I will not read this book, and quite frankly, I really do not understand who would want to. Other held a similar view with the username Tanner WCQ 1958, writing, I have no intention of wasting my hard earned money. Username Cynical Old Possum had said, Watching paint dry would be far more interesting. While username Maud had commented, I would not read that book if someone even paid me to.